Okay, everyone, so I started recording and I guess we can start. Good evening, everyone, and welcome in today's uh, uh, session, um, publishing and exhibiting artwork um, powered by Espronceda, partners from Spain, and the project PAL Connect. And today's uh, trainers will be Mrs. Alessia Gervasone and Mrs. Sabina Tarzitano. And this uh, uh, session is uh, part of uh, the Open Art Studios by the Project Park Net. Before we move on with today's um, EMS and the information about today's session, I would like to provide you with some information about uh, the project. Park Connect engages cultural, artistic and research organizations to stimulate European awareness and empower people from um, current and future generations to respect the inclusion and the diversity and to be successful innovators in their uh, local environment. The aim of this project is to support artists from social inclusion uh, groups to present and promote their artworks in post-COVID-19 circumstances and to inspire their cooperation within the European uh, countries. Now, the aim of today's training is to provide the participants, you, with the, the technical and theoretical skills and competencies on how to build an artistic career and what it means to be an artist, how to promote, sponsor and exhibit your artworks. Specific topics that will be addressed and elaborated later by the trainers are the artist statement, the artist's portfolio, the network invisibility, and the documents needed to submit to a call. Now, there are certain, uh, some certain rules. Um, first and foremost, you have already agreed with the GDPR, and in accordance with the GDPR and the project's requirement, we inform you that the cardinal training shall be recorded. Therefore, if you don't wish to appear in the recorded version, you might as well uh, turn off your cameras. And that also applies to some screenshots that we'll have to take later to uh, the webinar for promotional purposes. Moreover, an attendance list has been shared with you by the chat, uh, the chat section. And I would uh, I'd like to ask you to please uh, sign uh, the attendance list. Um, because it's important from the, for the project's requirement and that also applies to the evaluation form that I will share with you uh, later on by the end of today's session. Um, again, because it is really important that you um, sign any of them. This is the attendance list that has been shared with you right now. You can write your name and surname, the name of your organization, the address and your signature. Um, Concerning your signature, you can either drag and drop your signature if you have an, an um, image format or just write your name if you can do that. It works for us as well. And this is the evaluation form that will be shared with you later on. Now, if you don't seem by any reason to have access to the attendance list or the evaluation form right now, don't worry because tomorrow we'll send them to you via email too. Now, uh, also some uh, rules of communication. Uh, in case of questions, please first raise your hands and then the trainers will give you permission to speak and you can unmute yourselves and ask your question. Therefore, the microphone should be muted during the whole session. Uh, the meeting, as I said before, is being recorded and you can see the respective uh, automatic message appearing on top of your screen. We're going to ask you to open your cameras, um, if you want, of course, when we're taking photos. And I'd like to ask you to please write your name and surname um, to appear correctly in the attendance list. Now, there is an indicative in Chanta in for today's session. We're already done, I guess, with the registration and the welcome to the training. Uh, then I will give the floor to Mrs. Sabina Tarzitana to do a general introduction to today's uh, webinar's concept and to have a, a little bit of interaction um, with you for you to present uh, yourselves. Then we're going to move on with the artist statement and exercise how to write your own uh, artist statement and to discuss um, the results with the trainers. And then the presentation will move on with the artist portfolio, the network visibility and the documents needed to submit a call. 
in the last five minutes of today's uh, session, we're going to have the closing remarks, of course, any questions and answers, and the filling of the evaluation uh, form. So, that was all uh, for me uh, so far. Thank you again for joining today. So now, um, Sabrina, I'm giving you the floor. Just give me a second to change uh, the presentation. And we can move on with uh, your introduction. Thank you, Jörg. So, yeah. we are welcome. I guess you can see the other PowerPoint right now. Right. OK, so thank you very um, much for, for the introduction and uh, welcome uh, to everyone to um, our webinar and training on publishing and exhibiting your artworks. I'm Savina Zersitano and with Alessia Gervansone, that's from my Prozeda, we, we try uh, to have a dialogue with you and for sure we are trying to be more uh, uh, concrete that we can just uh, like also an exchange of ideas. So please stop us for any questions or for any doubts that, that you have. Uh, before to start with some key points of the presentation and, and after uh, Alessia will follow the um, the training, I would like to ask, uh, uh, just so we can know uh, all of us, uh, if you could introduce yourself, just one minute to who you are, you know, why maybe um, who you are, uh, nationality, age, or, and in what you are interested in this training, so we can have already um, a knowledge about us. Who wants to start? I mean, I can start with me. So I'm Savina, I'm a visual arts, and um, since already 20 years, uh, I work um, more uh, in the um, in project in the field uh, connected with uh, uh, um, project on engaged artists with the community. So different topics from peace, uh, sustainability, uh, human rights, and everything. So I'm one of the co-founder of Espronceda and also the artist director. And in Espronceda, I'm really following the part of the artist residency from different also the price with different artists and program from emerging artists to um, establish the um, established artist and also my vocacy is uh, um, to to defend also the um, the role of the artist in the society and for that i'm also a member of a different international platform like a member of the european cultural parliament i'm one of the coordinator of a piece uh, projects uh, and uh, and also one of the ambassador of the project of, of, of the Italian artist Michelangelo piece, piece on, on Pistoletto on how we can change the world. So this is like my background and uh, I would like also so who wants to start to introduce um, him or herself please. Well, I can start. My name is Helene Wiese and I'm working at Census Stockholm in Sweden. And excuse okay. me for the background noise here. And um... Helen, we can hear you. You just muted yourself. Oh, okay. sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Uh, well, I'm working at Census as project manager and we, we are working with uh, uh, many different emerging artists in different fields trying to help them to promote themselves and to develop themselves uh, uh, creatively. So uh, it's going to be very interesting to, to uh, listen to this seminar today and hear more about uh, some practical tools that you will be teaching. Thank you. Sure, anyone else? You can either raise your hands or just unmute yourselves or introduce yourselves um, in the chat section, whatever you want. Yes, Mrs. Katerina, you can unmute yourself, I guess, of course. 
Oh, it's my microphone. Hello. Uh, uh, nice to meet you. I'm uh, Katerina. I'm from uh, Ukraine. I'm uh, living now in Prague. Um, I am um, think I am a painter. Uh, I'm uh, uh, a little bit illustration. Uh, I uh, work in uh, digital uh, technical aquarelle and uh, now uh, here in Prague uh, half of year I starting to uh, paint uh, by acryl on canvas and I would like to um, prove my um, my practice and start to work uh, here because I ha I'm not uh, have a work here else and uh, I would like to my dream is a uh, um, book for children illustration book uh, and uh, um, some uh, uh, exhibition board uh, for sale or something else so uh, uh, thank you for your uh, seminars it's very helping for me thank you of course thank you katarina uh, savina i don't know if you're speaking but you're muted just you know so anyone else Okay, Barbara, of course. Or perhaps it was by mistake, the hand. So anyone else, if you want to meet yourselves? Excuse me. Okay, hello. Uh, oh, excuse me, just my camera, it's not possible uh, now. Okay, thank you. Okay, my name is Barbara. And uh, after the COVID pandemic, we lost our boss in a theater for children. And I would like to keep the company. <laughs> and um, on this seminar, I would like to learn something about how to manage and to produce the art company. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anyone else? Or in the chat, anyone who wants to introduce uh, themselves. Um, Savina, you are uh, muted. Okay, now you're good. Actually, I mean, don't be shy because it is a, a, a training that in a way we need um, also to collaborate and to talk together. So uh, if somebody else wants just to say hello, I will come. On the contrary, if you don't feel now comfortable uh, to talk, I can go uh, with the presentation. Diliana, I guess, would like to... And okay, Anders. So I just yeah. uh, wanted to say hello to everyone. Uh, my name is Diliana. Uh, Savina, we met you. Uh, ah, yes. Hello. Yes, in, in Greece. Uh, so I'm from the Czech Republic. Actually, I'm from Bulgaria, but I'm living in the Czech Republic. I'm... I'm writing articles, I'm translator of books, and I'm a teacher. Uh, I'm uh, working on the Power Connect project, and for me it's uh, very interesting also to learn more things about it. So thank you, looking forward to see and to hear. Thank you. And Mr. Anders from Census, I guess, raised his hand previously. I, I, I just wanted to present myself. Um, Anders Romare at Stockholm at Census Organization. And I work as a project leader in several different projects. So I just want to say hi to everybody. Thank you. Okay, so maybe we can uh, 
go ahead with the presentation and, and maybe we come back later if somebody wants to if uh, anybody else wants to introduce her we have in the chat martina introduces okay. herself okay so martina and she writes in her message is a project manager from a media non-profit organization. So thank you also, Martina, for introducing yourself. And yes, if there aren't any other people who want to introduce themselves, I guess, Sabina, you can, of course, move on. Okay, so let's, um, let's start. Uh, this uh, training uh, try to um, to help you uh, in uh, understand in which way you can uh, um, publish your work, uh, find your uh, uh, let's say your way or your um, and where uh, your way where you publish uh, publish your your work. But at the same moment, it's most important to start in identify who you are. So you can be like an artist, you can be a teacher, you can be in that case uh, also to find uh, like uh, also in the in the middle of the career to find a new job or maybe just to uh, to redefine your position. But what is imp in, in important in this training that we have to start uh, uh, first of all um, to understand who I am. When you have to write your profile, normally you have like five lines or maybe three three lines just to describe who you are. And the people in front of you has to really to understand who you are. So this is the first exercise in which I'm thinking uh, uh, who uh, who I am. And that is starting off that to present like the artist statement and to present a project. And the second is also the in which way we can you select the photo in which way we select our work that is connected with also our profile. And um, in the third part, that is also in coherence, everything, so it's also to understand the art world. I mean, the art world is a very big ocean with a lot of different uh, partners and uh, different situations. So we can discover how he's also divided the art world so from private, public, foundation, institutions, uh, uh, gallery, um, public space, uh, and, uh, uh, and, uh, uh, and, um, and, and so you can also understand according to what do you want, what, where do you want to, to, to go and, and, and to write. And the third is also how to publish your work, because also we, we live in a very um, uh, world full of information you know we we are completely every day is a kind of like uh, uh, an, uh, um, we received so many so many information it's also the importance of the quality in which way we can select the information and we can find what is really important for us so before to start the um, to go deeper deeper we have to understand uh, actually for you um what this means for you to be an artist the first question that you try to in front of a mirror also to say and why I wanted to work like an art work, what we wanted to achieve. And there is different uh, um, answers. I can do just because uh, I want to really a success. I wanted to become somebody. I want it just because it's, I have a passion and so I, I, I have to do just because I love that or maybe just because it is also an identity who I am. If we identify and every adjective is very different because the passion is some things that you can control. I mean, it's some things that even if, you know, I, um, I met several artists, a younger artist, they told me, um, I'm just want, work, uh, I wanted to work in, in the art, to be an artist, just because uh, it's the only things that I can do in my life and the only way that I can communicate. Others say just also for the um, to be somebody, just like to be the successor or the image. But uh, the first exercise that you have to thinking about why, what does it mean for me to be an artist and the same moment or like also a culture manager and everything. And that helps you to focus and also to find the key words to decide. Um, this, 
And that's uh, just uh, what's happened. Like, so the artist profile and the artist process of creative is, is they are going together. That's meaning that you have uh, an identify the people is an identify you as a person, as an artist, and this is your identity that could be like I'm a painter, I'm like a writer, I'm um, also an art teacher, and also my research is focused on on, on that topics on that topics, and um, and so this is important two things the content of your also um, uh, profile and the, also the image that you're going to use for identify yourself. Everything should be like uh, in uh, there is a, um, a consistency, but also a coherency. A coherence. So that is a really important because uh, sometimes we link the, the our artist process also in what is our like uh, artist profile. I do, for example, an, an, uh, an example. I am like a painter and my artist process uh, bring to me to work close to the nature or, or maybe close to the sea or maybe in, in using a, a recycling material. So or maybe I use the photography, just this topic. And that uh, is what we 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 manage to have uh, uh, my identity and also with my artist process. So it's very uh, important the reflection when we try to write like uh, a profile that we go to see after and also to understand really uh, what is my artist process, what I wanted to um, to achieve. On that, so we have the artist profile, more the artist statement, uh, help us to understand where I wanted to exhibit. On the contrary, we go to lost energy and we was time because actually we are not really focused on our research in what we are very good. I mean, uh, and the people say, OK, I really need this person because uh, I need this profile and I found uh, like coherence. So in our presentation today, the training, we tried to focus on you and to help to you to have this coherence in who you are and all these uh, uh, different sessions and phases uh, to really select uh, how to be more uh, um, more strong stronger in the in publishing or maybe to present uh, your your work and so in the, in that you you have like uh, after you you identify also the project the content and also how to write a project and that is also the description of uh, of the project so there is a different phase the different part of your like let's say of your career that helps to to uh, to um, to have the key point uh, like description of the project the phase and implementation why objective purpose goals and budget and everything should be always in coherence with the, your project content profile and um, and, and and the statement and uh, on that we have actually like the artist profile artist statement where exhibit and after we have also the publication but the publication following also um the importance of how we are being so strong if we have like coherence, the discipline, the research, the passion, the professionalism, everything should be very evident and get uh, and on the, on our presentation. So normally you have for that we go to uh, to see together also in ten lines how you can be stronger and the people say I'm curious to know this um, this person. Um, and that is not very, I mean, it's, uh, it's not difficult, but take time to understand really the importance of who we are, where we want to go, what is our goals, and after how to select the, the information and practically also how to present an art project that in a game actually today, nowadays is very complex because uh, also in to find like an artist residence or an exhibition or, or present a project always they they ask to you a proposal and the proposal should be in coherence in in each in each part of the phases so this is our the key point that um, we go to um, 
to do with you. And for sure, please stop in any moments, also before the exercise, and just to say, please, I don't understand that we can repeat, or maybe if you have any, any, any doubts. Um, also, we, we have just two hours, uh, and you know, timing also running, um, and we go maybe deeper in the presentation. I just uh, give, uh, um, if, if you have any questions on that, or any interaction, any doubts, or we can continue. Okay, so I think that we can continue. Now, um, Alessia Gervanzone, um, she will uh, uh, go uh, deep in the presentation and we start and now we start uh, um, for any topics that I, I told you in, in general lines to go deeper. And, and after I come back with you to do the exercise. Thank you very much, Alessia. Gervan, this is your now is. Um, Okay. Yeah, that's the, I mean, the technology is fantastic to do the training online, but sometimes we have also to deal with uh, um, with some like uh, moments that we are not uh, in, in, um, in connection at the same moment. So Thank hello, you, Alessia, um, I, I leave Alessia. The, um, yeah. to you. Alessia, I stop sharing the screen. So you can share yours. Uh, OK, before I was trying to sh uh, share, let's see. Uh, not now. OK, only one moment. Uh, this is definitely one moment. OK, now you can see my screen. Yes, yes, we do. OK. So thank you very much for everyone. Uh, you are seeing my, the, um, the slide, yeah, the presentation. Yes. OK, perfect. Um, so uh, as Savina was uh, saying, we um, I mean, we wanted to start with a little int introduction about what is the artist statement. And after this, we wanted to develop like a a little exercise uh, related to this uh, artist statement and then we can go more uh, deep in uh, other topic uh, like uh, portfolio, network and visibility and uh, um, how to write, uh, or I mean not how to write but what are the main passage uh, that are the main document that you need to present for an uh, open call for example. Uh, in this case, uh, um, mm, so we start with the artist statement. We know that uh, every artist uh, um, or every creative in this world has uh, to have to elaborate uh, different kind of document uh, in order to present themselves to the public. Uh, this kind of document are uh, the more Im the most important document are of course the curriculum vitae that uh, you need to have ready. Then uh, we have uh, the statement, the portfolio, and of course now also will be useful to have uh, like uh, a web page, also simple web page, but can be a plus. And uh, of course, uh, all the social media channel related that uh, like Instagram, uh, Facebook and uh, LinkedIn. Uh, in this case, uh, starting for the, from the statement, uh, we know that is one of the main tools, uh, but one of the um, main document that is able to uh, underline and uh, summarize all the motivation uh, all the um, process and uh, uh, the reason that shape uh, your uh, uh, artistic research. Uh, it is uh, um, a key document uh, because uh, uh, every uh, galleries uh, at uh, 
uh, every uh, open call uh, uh, um, ask uh, they ask for this uh, artist statement. Uh, most of the time, uh, is um, the artist statement is also something uh, uh, like a poetic. We can say so, because he's able to underline your uh, um, uh, creative process line and also what kind of. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, technique you are using. What are uh, your uh, aim of your the aim of your research and um, all this information. The difficult things uh, is that all this is for uh, all this information are not like right in a three pages or in a, a super big document, but this uh, information are summarized in uh, normally like 10, 20 line. Uh, one of the most important things is that the artist statement, if it's, brought, uh, if it's written by you, should be written by in first person. And we have to use the present uh, uh, tense uh, t uh, t uh, time. Um, another thing is uh, the, my suggestion is not to use the too complex term and technicalism since this statement should be understood by any person or any reader. Uh, sometimes the the statement is not written by us, but for example, if you are already an established artist, there are some uh, critic or galleries that can write the statement for you. But uh, normally, uh, if you are an emerging artist, you uh, you are you have to be able to write this. Uh, I mean. Uh, like a, a theoretical biography that represents your uh, creative process, uh, aim and artwork. Uh, as I say before, the length of, of the statement can be between uh, 200 and 500 up to 1000 words and uh, should be summarized in one or two paragraphs, more or less. I put a like uh, in this slide, I wanted to just uh, to give you one example. I, um, then I wanted to give to, I will pass tomorrow all uh, these slides, slides so you can uh, uh, read more, um, it more uh, carefully. Uh, and for now, I wanted to give you just one of these examples that I put. Uh, for example, we can see that uh, um, one statement of uh, March Rochko, uh, that is a super interesting painter. Uh, his statement, uh, for example, is uh, I paint a very large, a large picture. I realized that uh, historically the function of painting large picture is to paint something very grandiose and pompous. However, the reason I paint them uh, I think it applies to other painters I know. It's precisely because I wanted to be very intimate and human. To paint a small picture is to stand outside of experience, to, lo to look at, the, uh, at an experience as a stereoscopic view of a reducing glass. However, when you paint, paint a, big, a bigger picture, you are in it. It's not something you command. The progression of a painter work traveling from one point to another will be toward clarity, toward the elimination of all obstacles between the painter and the idea, and between the idea and the observer. This was uh, one uh, statement that uh, he wrote uh, uh, in 1949. Um, in this case, uh, Rochko describes his attitude toward the, uh, the toward the painting, and we know Rochko normally uh, paint. Uh, he, uh, like his paint are really, 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 really uh, big, uh, and are uh, uh, they um, they are with uh, represent with only one color normally. Um, his ultimate goal when painting is to evoke emotion. He focuses less on the formal color relationship or visual composition, but in this, for example, uh, I mean, uh, uh, statement, he wanted to underline more the emotion that uh, his uh, 
uh, technique can provoke in the in the visitors on the in the user that can experience of uh, uh, his work. Um, I have also uh, other example, but uh, I don't know. I think that we don't have time now to read carefully everything. But I will pass it to you their slide tomorrow, so you can go uh, through it. I put uh, like uh, um, one artist that is more contemporary artist. He won the Ars Electronica Prize in Linz. Ars Electronica is one of the most important prizes in art and science in Europe. Um, Louis Bourgeois, of course, uh, she is a eclectic, an eclectic artist. Uh, um in in all uh, uh, in the slide i um, i yes i put also i inserted this link uh, that uh, i i think that is a good website where you can go to find uh, uh, different uh, example of uh, artist statements so you can uh, you can bring inspiration take inspiration to them um finally uh i think that is the moment now to try to write our artist statement together um i don't know if i wanted to maybe leave the floor to savina for this part uh, about the exercise or maybe we can continue with the slide then we come back with the exercise uh, yeah, I think that Alessia, we can ask uh, to our uh, participants what they prefer, um, because the idea for us is uh, if, if if you want to share uh, with us, for example, your statement, or if you want to try to write, or maybe if you prefer, we can go ahead. So Alessia can continue so the um, the presentation. And after we can uh, come back uh, and doing uh, the exercise uh, uh, also um, later. So it's really up to you how you feel. I think that if there if there is a someone that wanted to um, read your biography or statement uh, can be. Um, can be beautiful to have the discussion because uh, so we can see what we can change on it if we need to implement something more or if it's okay like this. Or maybe if you wanted to discuss with us some doubts or some problems, for example, that you have in um, in presenting your statement or your work or, or silly you uh, uh, um, uh, you, you don't know i mean we are here i mean the, the our send the exercise is just to give you the possibility to maybe focus on uh, on your career and in which way you can uh, uh, position it yourself in the best way or maybe also re reallocate yourself. Okay, I have a question for you. Uh, just uh, um, all of you has experience uh, in uh, writing the statement because we have also in the audience people that is also working or, or maybe it's like teacher, so you are not uh, an artist. But for also in that case, could be also the letter in the presentation in a way. Let's say so. Every uh, one of our, um, in the in the um, in the participants uh, has had uh, problems in the past uh, or maybe. He really doesn't know how to do, or maybe just wanted to um, to re, re, uh, change, remake up, let's say, uh, their um, profile. Okay, I mean, um, 
um, this, the audience is very silent. <laughs> um, so um, I suggest that uh, Alessia, that maybe we can go ahead and give them more details uh, about you know the statement, so including your presentation, going what is inside. Uh, um, and maybe in, in, when uh, Alessia continues uh, in deeper in, with the details, maybe you can also write and maybe send it to us. So you can also send uh, by by messenger, like you know, the um, your comments is also the same. So what do you prefer? Um. Will be beautiful to have uh, some answer from the audience, because if no, uh, uh, will be really difficult uh, to. I mean, uh, to continue with the exercise. Uh, I mean, we have a plan of the these two hours, and will be beautiful to have your uh, feedback. I mean, uh, like an answer to the question. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, who wanted to start? I mean, uh, also, I don't know. Also, if no one has a statement, if no one know what is a statement, uh, I mean, uh, you can say something, whatever you want, related to this. Uh, so we can go through. Because uh, for now, for example, the exercise that we had in mind was Gather all your work in a digital or physical space, I mean, and see them for real, your artwork. Try to identify what are the common points and what are the differences that you, you, you see in your artwork. Try to think holistically and together in a global vision. Next, Try to write a list of adjectives that can describe your work and group them into macro area. Your statement must answer to some fundamental question. There doesn't necessarily have to be an answer to all of them, but try to find a meaning. The question are, what things should, should the reader know to better understand your creative process and your artistic mission? B. How important is your process or technique in your work? C. What emotion does the, the, the your artwork invoke? D. Uh, what what uh, mm, what uh, is the artwork inspired by? I mean, you are inspired by the nature. You are inspired by the. Uh, uh, the dream, uh, you are inspired by something physical or personal, I don't know, or by an history that you had in your past. Uh, how does the letter um, influence your work and his works? What are the objective and the mission of your artistic work? I mean, you want to sensitize about something. You want to evoke emotion related to uh, some, some question. Uh, this was most of the exercise that we wanted to, propo to propose to you. Um, so uh, what we wanted to do is ask to you if you can go in your room, you can take one pen and one paper. And in this case, you can write uh, 10 lines related to your artistic process, your artwork, and uh, what they, um, I mean, you, you can try to answer to this uh, um, question that we, we pose. Uh, is it okay for you? Yes, we have some answers that it is OK. So I guess we can give the participants 10 minutes to. To do the exercise, right?
Okay, great. So, I guess give we'll them. Uh, I think like so let's give them uh, um, ten minutes. Uh, Mm -hmm. that oh, they okay. can uh, take this time to reflect uh, and maybe if you don't, I mean, uh, there is also the exercise that also you can uh, uh, ask questions uh, that problems that you wanted to um, to, to resolve uh, or uh, or something like that. So should be the exercise uh, could be also um, uh, the importance uh, for you. I mean, what is really important for you? What is your difficulty in which way? Um, and after, after 10 minutes that we give this timing, we can we can come back because actually if also if you are not an artist, you can use, uh, let's say, the same methodology in a way uh, to um, the same methodology uh, to um, to underline uh, uh, what is your difficulty? Maybe you want to maybe to find a new career. Um, maybe you want to to, uh, to check another job, or maybe you for a, a long period you went like COVID. I, I've heard of some people from COVID that you know lost the job. Others they want to also maybe to um, to rethink their career. So the most important in the, in this training is how to understand how I can uh, myself. Um, in introducing myself uh, in, in this world of art or maybe the culture, how I can uh, present my work and myself in the best way and in which are the tools so I can understand what I have to, uh, uh, to find. And that's uh, helping you, for example, for us uh, to understand if you, um, in which, how to move also in the in this ocean and how to present the proposal. So let's uh, let's give ten minutes uh, and thinking about, and after you come back, and uh, we sharing uh, all your thoughts that you have. I mean, that's um, if you don't have like the statement uh, because, or maybe you and you have other questions. Uh, only Alessia. If you could just uh, keep uh, your um, sharing the screen on oh, the Canva. <laughs> okay. No, I meant if you could uh, keep sharing your screen in the respective slides with the questions and the certain steps about the statement. Yeah. Perhaps that would be helpful for the participants. Great. Okay, 10 minutes, everyone.
How many minutes are missing? Yes, we can start again in two minutes. Unless, yeah. I guess we can come back now. Okay. Maybe stop to share the screen. Okay, Barbara. Oh. Guess you can read it also. Or type it in the chat, whatever you want, and then you can discuss with Miss Celesi and Miss Savina, whatever you want. But you're muted right now. And uh, Barbara, you're muted, we can hear you. Yes, you are muted. No, Barbara, we can't hear you <laughs> for some reason. It's the microphone. <laughs> still, still can't hear you. If you can just unmute yourself. Turn on your mic. We can see you, but we can't hear you. You have Maybe. to unmute, unmute your huh? mic. Okay, now thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now I understand. Yes, excuse me. Exactly. No, no. Our performances are inspired usually by Czech folklore and they should bring an education with an entertainment. So we try to touch terms as ecology, health, character, traditions, recognizing of the world and many more. We build them from the beginning to the end, including scene, masks, costumes, text, jokes, story. We use our website and Facebook for uh, publishing. 
Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. And do you work in the... Uh, you are a um, performance artist or...? Uh, uh, yes, a, a yes. theatre for children. Theatre. Okay, so this is a great information because already we can, uh, um, uh, I mean, divide the like uh, in, uh, in for a performance a teacher. Uh, mm, the, the principles are the same, but for sure the presentation in that case uh, could, could be also differently because you work more already in the sector of uh, performance uh, uh, art and theater. Okay? okay, so that's give us the possibility already uh, to put you in um, in one uh, uh, in a specific uh, uh, field of the because also arts we we divide the art in uh, visual arts performing arts after you have also the the, the writers and after you have also the culture manager and sometimes you can also work like in an in interdisciplinary approach that's meaning if you have a diff other um topics or maybe you are like the theater also for example and performance could be already an interdisciplinary approach because uh, performance and, and to work in theater can be all you can use the performance also for example in visual arts yes and um okay another one so we can come back after okay thank you anyway and uh, any i mean you had uh, any problem i mean uh, in the past uh, that you say i want just uh, to improve or maybe i i'm not too sure uh, if it's correct or not um no like uh like i need to know more about the publishing and yes okay. with, with the with the okay. electronic and technic i'm not very strong okay great <laughs> But already for like the publishing, uh, you with the with this information we go already in a specific uh, uh, field where you can. Yeah, sure. Okay. Publish. Thank okay? you. Anyway. So that you. is the information that we need to understand how to help you where to publishing in that case and which is the, the right channels. Okay. 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 So Thank we you. Can another one. So we. Mm. Maybe if there is someone that want to share uh, the biography. No? Maybe if you know, we can continue with the slide and the seat. Yeah, because maybe if you are more interested in another topic, so, I mean, that you, you can say we can go ahead. So we can show uh, arriving uh, maybe uh, also uh, until the end of the, I mean, the presentation that we can say the portfolio and how to publish and where to publish, and maybe you can um, put your hands and stop, and we can come back. Just because uh, uh, actually we have less than one hour, and we we are trying to give it to you more uh, information that we can and help you. So please, you can add some feedback in what you do you prefer. Okay, so I think that we can continue. Yeah, okay, Alessia, so we can go uh, start uh, continue the presentation. And after we come back. So, uh, finally, this was uh, just uh, an inches uh, statement that are hard to write, but uh, ah, I have the share screen or no? No. no. Ah, ecco. No. <laughs> 
Okay, so I reshare the screen, sorry. Okay, so uh, now uh, can you see the presentation? Yes. Okay, so uh, finally it's just like a incitation, I mean a statement are art to write, but they can help people to better understand your art and to feel more connected to it and ultimately appreciate it because you can understand it. Also, the statement can help you put words to your practice, giving you the language to understand what you are doing and why it's so awesome. Okay, um, as you know, the statement is a super necessary, uh, I mean, is really necessary um, for different uh, things uh, uh, because uh, it's required by the gallerist, uh, it's required by in the open call, but also it's a fundamental part um, that you have to include in the portfolio. Oh, sorry, that in the portfolio. Um, what is the, the, the portfolio and why is necessary to have a portfolio? So a portfolio is a document that is an essential tool for the artist allowing to present a meticulous and careful selection of image of your artwork to capture the attention uh, in order to capture the attention of the gallerist and the collector. The portfolio is a fundamental document that shows your artistic process your research and it must be able to describe you in the most true, let's say, and attractive way possible. Having, as I told before, having a portfolio is necessary to participate to open call for artistic residency, open call for art prize, or for example, if you wanted to apply for an art school, you have to present portfolio that include the statement and a list of your artwork. Uh, I give here, here's here like a, a little, uh, like a schematic um, scheme, let's say, of how you can develop your own portfolio. So the first page, it is essential to create a good and attractive uh, first page to capture, of course, the attention. That means that you need, uh, normally you have to use some of your artwork. Uh, most of the time you have to choose the most powerful artwork that you have to put in the first page in order to, let's say, yes, capture the attention of the galleries or of the visitor. Um, you have uh, to write some uh, introductory uh, text, as we told before, the statement. Then you have to write, uh, after the first page, uh, you have to write the, the biography that actually is different from the statement, because the statement is like a poetic uh, resume uh, of your uh, uh, artistic uh, uh, mission and uh, also of your artistic uh, uh, um, aim, let's say. The biography is more like a description of what you are and what you are doing. Uh, then you have to include the curriculum vitae and then, of course, the contact. Um, here, for example, I put some example. Uh, you can create something graphically with your name, for example, the, the contact info uh, that uh, can be uh, web pre uh, the URL of your website, the email address, and of course the social network page. Then we have to, you have to, I mean, uh, to. Um, organize the section with the artwork. Uh, this, um, so uh, you have, uh, in this case, you have to choose uh, the section, how to divide your portfolio. And uh, so um, the first part, uh, most important, is uh, underline the topic. The topic allows the artist to classify their works based on a specific thematic of or a specific research. 
the theme is in uh, the topic is important because uh, it gives you an I mean, an, an end to your work. Um, the thematic is, uh, for example, uh, uh, after the thematic, you have to include the technique that you are using. So photography, installation, painting. The portfolio should be a very simple and clean document. So um, you don't have to include a super long description. You have to be uh, specific and the section can be open with a short paragraph describing the process, the motivation and the work that you want to develop. The topic, for example, and the technique use should be able to, uh, I mean, uh, um, describe your artistic uh, uh, line. Uh, uh, for example, uh, maybe you are doing uh, um, photography or uh, pay, you are painting with oil color, for example, uh, and your thematic is uh, the nature, I don't know, or your thematic can be the loneliness or uh, um, another, uh, another uh, topic. So first of all, you have to decide your topic and after that, you have to uh, divide your artwork and the photo uh, of your project based on this topic and technique use that you are using. Um, Savina, if you wanted to say something uh, when uh, uh, free, yeah. no, no, it's fine. We can go. Then we have, uh, uh, of course, the format of the text. Um, these are more like design oriented advice. The type of the text must be the same for all the artwork in the folder. Also, the font size should be the same. For example, you can use uh, the 13 or 12 uh, PT. Uh, that you you can use uh, if you use uh, 12 uh, PT for example for a uh, for the title you have to follow this uh, line and so for all the title that you are using in your uh, uh, portfolio you should follow this uh, yes this line no in order to create a graphic coherence. Once the session has been divided, the order that should be maintained with the same should be chronological. Uh, because uh, uh, the, war, the artwork must be illustrated from the most recent, recent to the oldest one within the various section. Uh, this is also an important thing because uh, when you, after that you divide your artwork, your, um, yeah, your section of project, you have to collect them uh, in the portfolio and uh, you have to decide to show them normally in uh, uh, chronological uh, time. So from the more recent to the more uh, ancient artwork. In uh, um, behind uh, or near, let's say, every photo that you are uh, um, positioning, you have to put always a title <clears throat> the date uh, of the realization and, uh, and then the dimension uh, of the artwork and the, te the technique that you are uh, using. So, for example, in this case, untitled uh, Good to uh, 2014, acrylic and gag tempera on oil on canvas. And then you have all the dimension. <laughs> The picture, uh, there are three important aspects to keep in mind when you are photographing your artwork. In order to obtain, let's say, the most accurate uh, possible image, you have to try to avoid the distortion effect that occur when the camera is not perfectly parallel to the artwork. Therefore, it is very important to place the camera in the corner at and parallel position when you are uh, uh, shooting photo uh, to your artwork. Uh, in another things that you have to take in consideration are the light. 
so normally you have to uh, take a photo of your artwork when uh, um, I mean, with uh, with a light outside or inside the room that should be uniform, um, because uh, um, you in this case you you can you 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 are not creating like a shadow in your uh, in your artwork because uh, one thing that, that is super important is uh, shoot the photo. Um, that are the most possible uh, real that uh, that are uh, able to respect the real of the uh, reality of the artwork and so for this the light are super important to respect the color most of the time the, then you have to save the, your image uh, in a big resolution or 300 dpi normally that is a regular resolution of of whether you can include also a less resolution image is depend um, but this is the most uh, uh, let's say uh, suitable uh, dimension um, if you are not able to create your portfolio uh, in uh, like with some uh, professional uh, software like uh, Adobe Illustrator or in this or in design for example you can use some free software that are for example Canvas, Beans, uh, uh, Dribble, Portfolio, Coreflot, um, Portfolio Box or you can create also your web portfolio with, for example, with that is uh, super interesting also uh, to use a uh, tool. That, uh, um, all these tools are graphic tool that you can use uh, to create your, uh, uh, yeah, your portfolio. I mean, a resume of your artwork. Um, I don't know if you have a question related to this part. Uh, if no, we can go in the um, more or less the last session that is related to network and visibility. Uh, what I want, and uh, I will leave the floor to Savina for this. Uh, and uh, but from this side, uh, we have decided to start the session to give us, uh, in order to give us some advice on. Uh, what kind of uh, statement and biography you have to write because uh, because this is uh, one of the most important things that you have to have when you are an artist because this uh, present your uh, um, i mean uh, your history but also your present in your uh, in, in where you want to go with your artwork no and uh, all these texts will be included in the portfolio. I don't know if you have uh, already a portfolio. Um, I mean, someone of you have a portfolio? Or you know what is a portfolio, for example, because maybe someone of you don't know what is a portfolio. Okay, thank you, Alessia. Um, I think that it was really, I mean, important because uh, from what he's saying, uh, also Alessia, that some of you asked also, you know, how to publishing and everything. That is important when you publish. It's not just important where you publish, but how to publish. So the importance also of the photography, the quality of the photography is always uh, most important, less uh, um, quantity, but more quality. And that's uh, also that identify you. So if you work in theater or you work like illustrator or, or also also if you work like a teacher or culture manager, you can use a sound photo that always identify your, your work. What is important actually nowadays is that we have a lot of part online. So this is the network that, that is still this uh, uh, parallel world online. You can use uh, also in a very simple way, as uh, Alessia said, uh, all the tools that you can find um, um, for like beginners. 
And so you can have also a simple website or maybe a, a little simple presentation, but graphically, for example, you can uh, really have that. And that help you also because uh, in the same moment, uh, how you create your portfolio, you can do both things at the same moment because in that case, you can start to publish your work. For example, if you use like Wix or, or like um, use another, has helped you also to create your portfolio because when you utilize, you use also your website, how to publish, in a way is an exercise because you have to present in the best way, which is your activities, what in you are very good, what is your like, you can't show everything, so, but you need also to identify and to um, to um, to select the best the best photo. Sometimes, for example, that you like in application, they ask to you normally they ask to you five or maximum ten photos of your best uh, uh, best work that you did, for example, in the last ten years or in the last three years and everything. So that exercise helps you if you use it to organize a portfolio because a portfolio normally is your techniques, the selection of your photo and the text. So what is we told before is every is always connected, and that helps you also to have in the website. So let's say if you go in the visibility and networking because unfortunately you have to. Um, yes, we can pass by the other one, the the next. So from the next, actually, I mean, uh, there is a, we trying to divide it uh, in which way um, you want us to like it, or publish or to find uh, also uh, um, grants, uh, um, application uh, where exhibit uh, or, or like uh, or project that is going like uh, finance it. Um, and that's we did like a selection in that part. We're going to um, that in some of them you can also use like a platform where to present your work, but also you can uh, you can come back uh, Alessia uh, behind. Uh, so for example, if you go like uh, race artist, let's say race artist is uh, like a, one of the big network that you can find. Uh, not just uh, only, you know, um, an art residency across the world. So you have really do the research for keywords. And also if you like to have like, for example, you need to find uh, um, uh, with the grants. So you can really keywords and you, you go to see also in your country what are they going to offer and also for discipline. But at the same moment is a networking connected across the world all the people and so you have also sometimes what is the most important project or conference. Trans artists, for example, give you the opportunity to use that platform also to give it to visibility to your work. So you can find also, for example, uh, you can do the research, but you can find also possibility, for example, how uh, if you want to exhibit the reason like a sharing studio or other projects. So in that case, you can also find a proposal and possibility of your or to be connected with a, um, a larger community. And um, in the rest, uh, we have uh, also Artist Community Alliance. Uh, if you, I mean, actually we are globally. So what is the importance of the using of uh, the, the networking or the platform is the capacity that we can go across the world. So even if uh, I'm like in Italy, but I can see what's happened, for example, like in the Alliance, in the community, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in America, in the USA or in Canada. And the same is what's happened here. Network residence is like from Asia. So all that gave you, for example, Taiwan, all that give you the possibility to move, not just in your territory, but also to see what's happened. What is a very important, actually, and the positive way also of the, um, the network and the visibility and, the, and also how to publish the work that actually we have a very big tool so that if we are able to use, so we give us visibility in other countries. Because sometimes uh, one project, maybe if uh, I put uh, like also my, my work, for example, in Italy, maybe they don't like, but maybe it's more like connected with another culture, let's say with Finland. 
So you have taken in mind that the, the also the impact of your project, of your image, of your also what you are looking for, like for example about like performance and theater, you gave some like specific topics. That's meaning that maybe if you don't find in your country, but maybe you can find in another place where they are developing this research. And if you are on the move, for example, in that case, you are able also to find a proposal. I mean, in that case, it is divided in grants, is divided also from uh, a university, also from um, from a company, from other like let's say public and also economical sectors so that they ask for example a project involving artists and culture manager. All these topics actually sometimes they are open also for um, artists but also for culture, uh, culture, uh, culture managers. So that's like is really important to take in consideration and also here you can find in which way you want to really uh, apply Apply or what you are looking for. And this is a very good exercise because in that case they ask to you really to present a proposal and the proposal normally is made really by, you know, also in that case if you use the exercise or to do a profile, you can also have a um, synthesize your, for example, proposal, 10 lines to say why my proposal, what I want to achieve, what is the target and, and everything. The same like from uh, if you want to like the, the, the another one from the sec the um, cultural 366 is uh, the relation between Europe and Asia. So you have like uh, different uh, um, uh, different uh, uh, um, offer or grants in every field concerning from digital art, from photography, from performance, from museum, uh, from writers, uh, from all the discipline, and also sometimes they ask like uh, the um, the um, multidisciplinary approach. And uh, for example, if somebody you say how to publish and where to publish, also the last one is a kind of online gallery. So some space, some, some like, let's say, some uh, networking, uh, they give you the two possibility to create for free your own gallery and also to present, uh, um, to also to, uh, to find uh, other opportunity to work with the other artists, to be part of, of a project and everything. So if you can see from what also explained Alessia in, in her like slide, there is always a coherence. Everything is not like a, a cut or detached from another one, but is everything, there is a kind of coherence and, uh, um, and the methodology how to present the work and how to network and how to present and where like to publishing because on the contrary you are on the ocean of a thousand of image of the people of other people and maybe you don't have the feedback that you want so it's much important before to do that exercise so that maybe I mean, when the slide that you have, you can come back home and just give a look and um, and uh, and try to um, to apply on yourself and ask it to yourself. So, you know, normally, for example, when I still I have to do like uh, you know I have to publish my work and everything. So also myself, I do like uh, um, an exercise. And I say to myself, okay, what I want, what I wanted to achieve, what, where I wanted to. Um, uh, to publish and and also which photo no and and also sometimes it's interesting that you ask also advice that could be your mentors could be not friends normally friends could be that they are not very objective but try to have uh, as other people that can give you maybe a uh, feedback on your in on your in, image and uh, yes and uh, any questions or we can Alessia you wanted to add some things. No, for me it's okay. okay. I don't know if the participant has uh, some question. And any anyone? Everything is fine, clear. Oh wow, <laughs> we are happy. Um, uh, so that's uh, also is a very important when we uh, we're discussing about like. Uh, uh, where to present your work and the beginning when I say the coherence of, of your work. 
because uh, that is also in in uh, important because for sure you can go home and open you know all this that we are trying to uh, to do like a selection of uh, a website that you can find but another important things on on that what do you want to achieve for example, I wanted to be just commercial and uh, I'm looking just uh, like for a gallery. Um, and so in that case, uh, you have uh, maybe uh, to, uh, to, 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 to see and uh, to follow other like uh, networking that could be like, uh, for example, also art and, um, you know, art Arabic and everything. So that's uh, giving you the possibility to get more like in the gallery. If I want to more like and, and my, um, for example, my vocation is more like I have topics linked with more social issue or like human rights or sustainability or what I want. So I try maybe that my possibility are also like a um, foundation. They could be like a more also public space or, or like uh, um, institutions could be like a museum, it could be like a university. So that uh, is really important uh, also for you to identify. So um, because uh, the, the art like uh, the, the art system is divided. So we don't have any any uh, let's say is like a very big ocean with um, small uh, islands uh, and each island uh, is, um, is, uh, is 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 connected uh, with uh, um, is connected with uh, a, um, a target and and a topic so that is very important also to know what I want and where they I want, want to achieve um, and, it, and and it is like also where to publish um, so actually, for example, for free, that they, they give you also um, a big possibility, and this is also for free with a high quality also of your work, and also the possibility to sell. For example, is a such such art um, that you want large online gallery, and uh, and certainly you can sell, you can put your uh, your price. And also that give you the opportunity uh, maybe to give visibility to your work, to collectionist, for example, to museum and also to participate in uh, some time. But also in that case, uh, one uh, is also here there is a methodology because one thing is important is to be constant and that's meaning that you need to really um, to check your like, you know, to uh, update your portfolio, to update uh, uh, the image, uh, to be clear about also the quality of the image uh, and and also what, and everything so that Alessia uh, explained to you about, you know, how to um, uh, the, the size, uh, for example, the measure, the title, everything on so that they come back, not just in your portfolio, but also, for example, if you wanted to create uh, like an online gallery. Uh, the, the the other very big also is a single art that is you can just uh, uh, um, do an application but just send that you are interested and it's very huge huge networking that give you the possibility there is no age limits and everything and also here you can you can um, you, you can sell um, and also that you have to be prepared but also here when you go in the application every people come back always to the same questions you know which is your uh, artist elements uh, describe your work uh, um, the image of your work should be like uh, also what to explain to to Alessia should be with uh, some specific format so if you learn before all this uh, information is very helpful for you to understand really how to publish, how to networking and, and where I put my work. And the single art and uh, give you the possibility for sure to have uh, a global market everywhere in the world. So that give the visibility to a, like a wider audience. Um, and also the and after there is this is part that uh, we divided is more about the gallery or line art gallery with a lot of experience uh, like you know, art major is also 20 years and the, here in that, that case it's also very simple because uh, you can publish 
and you can have like uh, also your own gallery, private private gallery, um, and also Artnet. Um, and in that case, uh, also you have you have to apply. In that case, in some cases, you have also to pay like um, like uh, um, a fee. And after you have another example like Art Please, that online gallery that puts also our artists and, and collectors in contact. So if you are from, for example, theater or performance uh, or like a writer, for example, that networking are not very useful for you because this is more like for visual arts and uh, that comp that including like photography, um, paintings, uh, um, installation, uh, and that that really you can you can sell. Um, so any questions? Alessia, do you want to, to add something? I want to. I don't know if we have some participant really with some question. Or they want to interact a little bit. If you have, uh, and for example, uh, you already have tried to apply for some art gallery on online art gallery, or you have published your artwork in some yeah online gallery. Um, some of someone of you, for example. Or if you want, we can also open one website and uh, and go deeply in the website of one of these uh, network that we selected to show you in how they do their research, for example. You can also send a message and your so you know can take your comments. I mean, uh, that's also the, the end of it. We, we can uh, answer to you. So maybe I don't know. Maybe we can finish the training. Yeah, you can finish another. Maybe we come back and maybe we can open one side side website. Okay, so we can come back to the presentation, Alessia. So we can show all the other. Um... Here there are some free gallery, and I think this was just. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, if you come back, you can you can find uh, other like um, yes, online gallery and um, and other like uh, net networking. So what we did in, in that case, in that case, we try to divide it. If you apply from gallery, if you wanted to apply for foundation, if you wanted to apply and to find like, for example, jobs, I mean, or some things from like a local community, municipality, sometimes also from university and sometimes also from like economics. And if we go in the last part and, and that help you also, what is important in all this exercise, that up to up to, uh, um, give you the possibility also to select your work and also in which way you wanted to publish for example also on the social net uh, on the socials and like for example like instagram facebook or, or linkedin and everything so because also this exercise up to you to understand which target you are looking for and in in the in, in the same like for example instagram Actually, now it uses like a lot of artists. They use the Instagram like their own gallery or website. Instead of to have a website, they use like also the the Instagram. So um, and but that is like a target. And if you want like a more profession, or like more like in in linked between culture, for example, or like your your discipline is linked between also more like culture or like your project is linked more like with politics or, or like uh, other social issue. For sure, you can go more uh, on, for example, LinkedIn or like um, or Twitter. So that's a help to you also in the best way to give you visibility to your to your work. So actually, if you have to come back and you see everything, everything is uh, is connected. Um, and uh, the last part that we prepared with Alessia 
the dialects that we can do also together. I mean, uh, is the way also when you have to find uh, to submit a, a call. And these uh, these documents uh, are really for uh, um, uh, for actually that you can use uh, to do like any application that you work actually in visual arts or performance or culture manager or teacher uh, or maybe you are wanted to find also grants that give you the opportunity. To have. There is a lot of grants, for example, they give the possibility for the artist to work during one year with the grants. Um, but the, the um, but actually became always more and more complex to do like uh, a, an application because it looks like also to have like a business plan. In the it's not like the title, the title of the project, the project description, the objective, the develop, development phase of the project, the simulation of the work. Uh, um, that you want to like appear. So that's the meaning that you have very a clear idea and everything should be connected. You know, the project description, that's the meaning of what I wanted to achieve, you know, what is the main topics of my work, what I wanted to do. And object is very clear in the short, for example, or in long and long period. And also them sometimes they ask to you how to do like a kind of agenda and to divide the, your proposal in different in different phases. That's the meaning, for example, uh, um, the first phase is like being the research, the second phase would be like uh, um, implementation, the, uh, the third phase like, you know, to exhibit or to, to present the work, if there is any connection and everything. So, um, and after something you have to simulate the sometimes they ask to you for that is very important also the capacity to use also for free all what also uh, is the the internet I mean um, the the the, uh, the technology they can offer for free that you can pre prepare for example in that case a very good a very aesthetical proposal also using for example canvas if you go if nobody knows you can go and you see how to use canvas and then the same on that help to you also to understand in which way you present also for example the budget because the budget is divided in different lines because you have to considering for example if i do paintings like the production which materials i use it if i have to transport uh, you have to considering how much cost the transport of the work the insurance uh, um the production, the communication, or and uh, and and at, at least also the fee of the project. The fee that's the meaning uh, that uh, I work uh, like uh, an artist, uh, and to develop these projects, uh, I need uh, this fee that we like say one uh, one hundred euros, and that and that is uh, also uh, is linked also about your career. I mean, how many years you have over your career and every and everything. So, um, and so that's uh, help you to understand, for example, to do you a research and investigation in which way, for example, the cost related to to install a work. You know, if I have photography, I don't know how much cost like to print in paper in, in, in aluminium or in other materials and and so on. If I work in a performance, if I need a specific materials, specific lights so that I can get to that. And that is really an exercise. And normally, as we can, uh, we talked to you at the beginning, just to use 10 lines or 20 lines, because normally, also for your curriculum, there is already a standard for any project to present really like uh, they say you uh just like one page of your curriculum uh, not should be normally is like 1000 characters of your you know or maybe with the 500 words um and that's the reason really um important because that's the meaning that you have also to have the capacity to summarize and to put in evidence what is really important for your work and actually also here is an ex exercise a methodology to ask to yourself uh, why these people they had to you know uh, invest or maybe uh, give me a grant um, and this is very important also sometimes to spread and to use uh, other you know to also to to be connected with other people and to ask advices uh, alessia you wanted to add some things also for your experience that you work uh, also in application and everything so also um but uh, I, think I think that, that you more or less you resume everything. Uh, um, and yes, uh, what uh, 
uh, I mean, uh, it's necessary to prepare. Yes, uh, yes, what you told before, of course, I have all these documents, portfolio, statement, biography uh, with you. And then, uh, of course, uh, after that, you have to prepare the application that can include uh, all these aspects that you, Sabina, mentioned before related to the um, project description or related to the uh, drafting of the budget. Uh, all these documents can be, of course, uh, um, presented to, um, like, uh, uh, online uh, uh, open call for art prize uh, for uh, galleries uh, or to um, also to be part of an uh, online gallery for example or to apply for art residency uh, or for grant as you are saying yeah so <laughs> this is why we were thinking that i mean uh, was mm, mm, useful to and and, uh, and also for us that we work in um institute on arts center you know and we are part of the jury and also we have to create a gallery and everything so sometimes also don't be complicated sometimes also the simplicity in the concept in the project is also sometimes uh, um very good i mean uh, don't have the like uh, a word or maybe uh, or sentence that is um you are not convinced because of, everything should be always in coherence so sometimes for example and also the importance also of the image you know because sometimes when we also for example we have to select the you know from like 200 or 300 artists and you have just one artist in that case also the image is very important because it's giving you an emotions and sometimes you select you know even if the text is not is not so good or the contrary and you have to be thinking about uh, all this uh, really um, aspect and for sure one of the advice that we can give to you that you have really to try more and more i mean to try also with what are the feedback and um and after some time you can also ask if you they say no for example why they say no and also try to 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 have a, give you more possibility and and not another thing so just to be very not to just go around and publish everywhere uh, and doing everywhere everything because uh, you waste a little bit of time in, in in our opinion if you don't really understand like the target so also sometimes um, the use of the word is less but that that give that give the idea of your identity who you are so the people can recognize it from the style from the philosophy and everything and also we we told you about you know today you can use for uh, not also just for like uh, um like to be like an artist but if you want to work like as a curator also a, like culture manager also like art teacher because all that also uh, ne there is always the necessity the necessity to have like always a portfolio and some image so it is a methodology that really you can um, you can use and you can adapt uh, and what your really you need. Yeah. So um, thank you. We, or... we have still five minutes. Any questions, everyone? You can either unmute yourselves or type your questions in the chat. Otherwise, we can proceed with closing remarks. Also, negative feedback we accept. I mean, if it's, it's, not, it's not clear, I mean, it was boring. Or, you know, everything so for us is really important. And um, because we are trying also to give, I mean, to try. Hi. Okay. You know, you have microphone. I guess. Yeah, yes, your microphone is still. Uh... You have to turn on. Okay, we have a comment in the chat that there isn't any negative feedback and it was very interesting. Thank you so much, Katerina. 
And of course, before closing, um, again, I pasted in the chat the attendance list and the evaluation form to provide us with your uh, feedback. So please take a few minutes also to <coughs> uh, fill in the evaluation form. And another comment, two other comments. In the chat. Now, before you start leaving, I would like to ask you to please open your cameras in order to take a screenshot for the promotional purposes. Whoever wants to, I'm waiting a minute. Okay, Matt, thank you. And Martina, thank you, Martina. Okay. Everyone stand still. Okay, let me see if we got it. Great, we got it. Thank you for that too. So, um, I would like to thank you all for joining in today. I would like to thank very much Mrs. Savina and Mrs. Alessia for the interesting workshop. Um, you can take a few minutes to fill in the evaluation form now. Uh, of course, tomorrow we'll, you will receive another email with the attendance list and the evaluation form again, just in case you uh, couldn't um, fill them in uh, today. And also to that email, Mrs. Alessia will apply to provide you with uh, the presentation, the materials, uh, just in case you want to revise them and study uh, on them. And lastly, stay tuned for our next webinars. Uh, our next webinar is uh, this Friday, November 18th. Um, just for whoever who is here right now and has also registered for Friday's uh, session, um, there has been a reschedule and we will implement the session on Friday at uh, 3 o'clock set until 7 o'clock set, noted for. Um, and if you have already registered, you will uh, receive um, a, an email with a reminder. And you can still, of course, register in uh, the remaining uh, sessions. And if there are any information uh, you want to ask, uh, thank you, Matt. Uh, if you want to ask any information about uh, the participation, you can always contact me. And I guess that is all. And we can close the meeting, right? Thank you very much so, to everyone. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, Barbara, I like very much your child. <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice to see your child, the young generation class. Ah, thank you very much. He is nice. He is nice. Yeah, it was really nice to see him. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank bye you bye. all. Bye. Have bye. a nice day. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. Thank you.